Hi everyone, Simone here, Notion Certified Consultant. And after working with some personal trainers, we find out that there are a few pain points that they're experiencing in terms of the experience of developing programs and sharing those programs with clients. And most personal trainers are buried in spreadsheets, trying to build programs, trying to be efficient, and they are wasting a lot of time on that area. Whereas they could be allocating those resources to actually giving advice to people after sharing a comprehensive program with them in one place. And that is what this Notion template that we are looking at in this video is about. That's a centralized system for personal trainers to quickly develop programs, keep track of their clients, invoices, as well as exercises and progressions in one place. And they can share those programs with clients directly from Notion through a simple URL so that they can take their time back and actually focus on giving advice while at the same time everything is organized in one place. So let's get right back into it. This is the Notion system. It's called Personal Trainer OS. You will find the link in the description of this video. And the home page here is an access point to all the key systems within the template. So you have quick access to the key databases and components, starting from clients all the way to training movements that are references that you can keep track of. You have a few buttons on the right-hand side, but you can quickly create new entries for those databases, new clients, invoices, programs, or nutrition plans. And finally, on the home page, you have sections to quickly access active content from those databases, meaning you can look at clients from here. These are all the active clients, meaning not archived. You can see all the current training programs grouped by client, where each client is a toggle that you can expand to see what the active training program that they are following. And you can see all the invoices due right here on the home page in one place and we will break down all these systems one by one, looking at the databases and the relationship between them. And the first database of the system really is clients. You can think of this as the highest level database in the system where everything starts from, because clients are related to programs. They can have one or multiple programs over time. They are related to invoices so that you can keep track of their payments. And they also have exercises, progressions, and movements as a reference point. And this database stores all your clients. But well, you can see there are two views, active clients. Those are both table views. And you have an archived view right here because you can archive clients from the button right here. There's also a template in this database that is new client. It's a default, meaning whenever you create a new client, that will be applied by default so that you will have the page populated automatically with all the sections that we're gonna look at right now. So when you open a client page, you will have the name of the client right at the very top. And then you have a few organizational data like address, city, state, zip code. And that can be useful if you actually use invoices in this system that is applicable to you. If you're a freelancer, a business, and you need to manage those things, then you can use that invoices part that we're going to look at later more in detail. And you can also define where this client was first, first started working with you. So that's a date picker you can select that. And finally, you have a roll-up property, meaning an automatic property that pulls how many programs you've built for this client over time. And we have this roll-up property really because there is a relation between the client's database and the program's database that is also centralized. And you can see all the programs for each client inside the page, but also in a centralized database. And in here, inside the client page, besides training programs, that is a view here, where you can see all the programs in a table format, you can also see them by status, and you can see them in a timeline view. And you can also see a section for notes that you might want to write down about this client, invoices that you built over time for this client, and their status directly from here. You have a section for all nutrition plans that you built for this client. If you offer the service, this can be a useful soft um, system for you. And you have them by status and by adaptation. Adaptations are sort of objectives that clients follow. So it could be fat loss, muscle hypertrophy, strength, and all these adaptations that we're gonna see later. That is mostly an organizational database for you to tag each program. So all this data is coming from the other key databases in the system. And if you go back to personal training OS, in the quick access, you have invoices, that's the invoices database, where you can see all the invoices across all clients. That's why it's centralized. If you want to build a more elaborate system and invoices are an important part for your business because you're a freelancer or you work by yourself, then you might want to 
tie your finance software to this Notion system because the finance software is optimized for actually creating invoices and then sending them as PDF, whereas the Notion system is more thought for organizing your invoices and actually making sure that clients pay and that you know exactly what's the situation at the moment. And if you want to tie different software together, you could use tools like Make or Zapier or even custom code your APIs to make tools like QuickBooks or Zoho Finance talk with Notion so that whenever you create an invoice in Notion, you can also have that invoice populated in your finance system and then actually finalize that invoice in the QuickBooks or Zoho or any finance system that you're using. And here you can see invoices by status, but you can also see them by client, where each client is a toggle. Well, you can see also the total amount of money uh, regarding the invoices that they paid over time. You can see them by type, meaning you can categorize invoices by one time or recurring and by month. Whenever you open an invoice, you have the invoice name here and you have a relation property to the client database that we just saw, meaning here you can pick the client from the client database list. The amount of money, the date of the invoice, the client address, that's a roller property that is set up like this, where you have the client, we are pulling the address property from the client database and we are showing the original address of that client. The status of the invoice, it can be true, ready to send, sent and paid. The type and the file of the invoice that you can upload here or embed as a link. And finally, there is the ID, that is a very new property in Notion that they just released last week. And that's a unique identifier for each row that you create in Notion that is automatically populated for you. If you go back to the main hub, the next database in the system is programs. And that's where really most of the action happens. This is where you create your programs and then you can share those programs with your clients specifically. So in this database, you can see different views. All programs are listed here in a table format, but you can also see them by status, in a timeline by client, where each client is a toggle, and also by objective here. And there is a template in this database where the program page will be populated, where you can break it down into sessions and movements. So if we look at a program here, you will see this is the name of the program, the primary objective, which can be one or multiple ones. And this is pulling data from the training adaptation database, where there are already all the muscular adaptations that your program might target. You have the client. This is also a relation property to the client service. The start and the end date, where you can pick here by toggling this on. And you have the duration. These are just formulae that calculate based on the start and the end date, how many weeks, months, and days the program lasts. And down here, there is a template. So when you pick that template, there is actually a default template. So it will be populated automatically whenever you create a new program here. You have the description of the program, any helpful resources, because then this page is actually the one that you will share with your client and where they will be able to access and track also data if you want them to have editing access. Down here, you can break down the program into sessions. So sessions are each daily workouts that they follow. And in here, in the calendar, they can see all the sessions that you create laid out in a calendar. And if they have editing access, they can also move things around. So the first time that you set up a program, really, you can come here. Maybe the table view is the most helpful one. And you can actually create new sessions where you can rename them. And you have the date of the session. And that will populate the calendar automatically. And there is the done checkbox that can be checked by the client once they've done their section, their session. And inside that session, you have all the exercises for that workout. Instructions at the top, exercises down here. So you can open the session page and really create all the structure of the program. Here you can reference the movement in your training movements database that is just a reference database. So in this case, if the exercise is back squat, you can type back squat and you will filter things out. So that's the reference movement so that you can pull the execution. That's a video where the client can watch how to execute that movement and the body part targeted for that movement directly here as a roll up. Then you can write down any sets here. You have repetitions, 
rest time and the weight that is a tracking property essentially and you can have the client track the property if they have editing access again which i'm gonna show to you how to do that later or you can track them yourselves or you can just discard that property if you don't need that so going back here once you create all the sessions you can also duplicate existing sessions if for example the same session happens every week on monday you can create the first week and then you can select all of them and on the six dots you have a command that is duplicate right there and that session is duplicated for you you can just rename it session four let's say for example you can give it a new date that is next monday and all the exercises are going to be there for you already laid out you don't need to change anything but that will be just duplicated and once you populate all the program and the sessions those sessions will appear on the calendar again if there is a date otherwise there is the program overview here where the client can also see what's going on this week what are the sessions this week and what are all the sessions for this program and once you've laid out your program you can share it from the top bar menu here with the client either by email so you can invite them by email here as a guest guests are free in notion and you can give them editing access if you want them to also track weight but just keep in mind that if they have editing access they are also able to change things here to mess up with the data so if you don't want to have that risk you can just give them either can comment or can view access and they're able to see still see everything but they can at max leave a comment and not change actually the data structure on content of your program and you internally can then see all the programs here laid out in one place keep in mind that programs can also be broken down into phases so we are using sub items in notion to break down a program for example this full body program example here is a toggle that you can expand to see all the sub phases that you have within that program so it could be phase one upper focused and you have a specific duration and you can share that with the client first and then you can have multiple phases for that one program and that becomes then a system for periodization at the program level for each client and that's where most of the work happens training programs and finally there are some supporting databases there are adaptations movements and nutrition plans training adaptations is only organizational where you can define what are the objectives for each program and that's where you can pick those from Training movements, that's also a reference database where you find all the movements and you can add them by yourself as well or you can delete them by checking them here. And you have the body part, the type of movement and the execution that can be useful for your clients to actually see how to do a movement. And finally, nutrition plans is where if you offer this service, you can also create plans that are tied to clients that you can share with clients directly from here always from the share menu so whenever you open a page you have the share menu and you can invite the client or share the link to the web as well and in here you have the status of the nutrition plan the general objective the clients or client for whom you develop that nutrition plan the calories per day tags for example what type of plan it is low carb keto vegetarian whatever mm, nutrition plan it is and the duration in weeks and inside the page you can have description resources and you can either break it down by day meaning it's a daily plan where you want to define on day one what to eat and you can open day one and you have all the meals in here ingredients time of the day macronutrients and then inside the page you can exactly write down the instructions on how to prepare that meal and that's a more detailed plan or you can use the other template and you can see the two templates here to make a nutrition plan that is more recipe based meaning you leave freedom to the client regarding what day to eat what um, but rather you give them a list of recipes that you, they can choose from to organize their nutrition plan autonomously and that looks like this so you have notes and resources and then you have a table where you can write down all the recipes the macronutrients, time of day, ingredients and instructions directly inside the page. And here you internally can see all the nutrition plans, 
also broken down by client. And with the client, you can just share that page as I showed you before for programs. And really, that is what there is to this system. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. You can find a link to this template in the description. And for now, thanks for watching and see you soon.